Another game cast. This is your host Top Dot, and back for a few more subjects, y'all. All right. First subject we're gonna talk about is Mr. Twenty One getting locked up and actually being from the UK versus being from the United States. Uh, all right. Three things on that. For one, that came as a surprise to me. I thought he was from Atlanta or somewhere in the southern region, but you know, guess not. Um, two. It's a, it's a, always an agenda towards people, black men especially, who reform what they've been doing with themselves in their life and turn around from something bad and negative to something positive, you know. Um, it's always something that, that they like to hinder. They like to put some little salt in the game when it comes to, you know what I'm saying, young brothers doing that. So I feel them on that, you know what I'm saying. Um, three, people that's making fun of him, man, y'all is twisted, you know what I'm saying? Like, we go through enough, but this ain't no crime, you know, river story, but, you know, we go through enough, and that man came over here, he been doing what he had to do, yeah, he got in trouble, you know what I mean? He was living a lifestyle, um, of, you know, gangster or whatever, you know, he was doing whatever he, he was doing, and he... Or a few charges, but everybody do something, you know what I mean? I'm not excusing what he did, but I'm saying, you know, a lot of people do a lot of things, you know what I'm saying, a lot of the time. So you can't sit there and say it's his fault, you know what I'm saying, for catching that charge. Ain't no ain't no telling what he was doing with whatever he had, you know what I'm saying? I'm not judging him for that anyway. So, you know what I'm saying, moving past that, basically, whenever – Somebody getting a foot up, you know, it's, it's always somebody to pull the rug from underneath you and like to see you slip. So you got to deal with that in life sometimes. But you know what I mean? With all that being said, I'm going to play the other side now. Now, 21 been here for a while. He could have been hollered at them people. And Ben got his visa over here. He is a millionaire rapper, so it's no excuse for that. Too. His people should have been on it. His people should have been on his ass. Like, bro, what are you doing? Get back over here, then go back over there. You gonna <clears throat> you gonna mess us up over here? You know what I'm saying? Going over there like that. You know what I mean? Three. You know what I'm saying? Also, the persona that he emulated as a rap star is was probably gonna come back to bite him. His image that he's trying to portray. You know what I'm saying? As a rap star, it's probably going to come back to chomp him a little bit. And that's just because that's not looked too highly upon. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes to you overseas and you're African-American at the same time. And you over here in America, you know what I'm saying, holding guns and starting trouble. You know what I'm saying? Them, the people are not going to be too, too happy with you. And they ain't going to be too lenient on you. They're going to be like, no, bro, you came over here to solely be a menace. You could have came over here, went to school, and did everything like that. But, you know what I'm saying, you, he might have, but he should have continued it. You know what I'm saying? He shouldn't have kind of slipped off into the Zone 6 Atlanta rap thing too quick. He should have let folks know, like, hey, man, uh, I got some, some things I got to take care of before I can even touch bases down here. But. That's me, and that's how I do business. So I ain't, I ain't trying to tell that man how he should do his own business and everything like that. But I would have thought about it a little bit differently and did a little bit differently, I think. You know what I'm saying? But all in all, man, I hope he get out. I hope he get right, which he probably will. Nine, nine times out of ten, he's going to, they're going to help him get out of there. He's going to get his visa and everything like that, and he's going to be good, you know. They probably gonna keep him here on a temporary one, but you know what I'm saying. Shout out to him. I I don't listen to his music, so I'm not for the city of Pierre act like I'm a fan. I'm just a fan of his fashion. I like how he went from being kind of a knucklehead to turning around and being somewhat of a um, simple for changing 
And you know what I'm saying? He went be a role model and went from being over divisive, you know what I'm saying, to being decisive, which is is I love any anybody on that type of progression. I love that and I encourage that and I help anybody on that path because I'm on the same one. So hopefully 21 get out, you know what I'm saying? He makes some fire music for his people, you know what I'm saying, and his fan base, and he be all good. So prayers is with you, homie. You know what I mean? Get out soon. Now, on to these 2019 rap beefs we have so far. The Tory Lanez versus The World. The lingering now Nicki Minaj is, I guess, taking shots at Drake and Meek Mills on some whatever type stuff. Uh, so we got that happening. You know what I'm saying? We still got the lingering effects of the MGK and M kind of beef. You know, that's it's over, but, you know, still remnants of it laying around. Um, also, you know, you got all these um, these little young rappers kind of basically going against the, the older grain and being like, y'all kind of old and washed up. It's our turn. Y'all need to get up out of here and all of that, you know. So you got all this type of stuff popping off now. So my question to y'all is, <clears throat> which one is the most interesting thus far? Is it the Tory Lanez against everybody? Is it, um, who else did I just mention? See, I be forgetting stuff. My fault. I don't be having most of this written down. But, you know what I'm saying? We, to me, the Dream Dow and Tory Lane's little debacle is it's it's interesting because whenever you have a girl diss you, they get intimate and they cut deep. So I I think if if Tory was to hear that little response, man, he probably gonna have to say something back or yeah, he gonna have to say something. Because if he don't, then old girl just splattered him with that. But that's just my opinion. You know what I'm saying? Different stroke for different folks. I ain't trying to be nosy in y'all business, but. That's interesting too. Um, um, I know it's a few other beefs, but what's interesting about the the Tory Lanez versus everybody beef because he just challenged everybody and he keep trying to go at the um, the top artists. You know what I'm saying? The Eminem and the J Cole's, he Kendrick, um, keep trying to go at you know top tier people while he got a whole bunch of like folks that's lyrically on his level. Right now, who why you trying to go at the the Olympians of all of this is actually just you know what I'm saying some other folks in the game you know what I mean and they coming at him tough and I don't know if he can keep just you know dodging it left or right and all that you know I don't think he can keep doing that but if he does and he somehow find his way up out of this, this little thing. The whole little debacle he done put himself into and he just happens to, to get a J. Cole or an Eminem and happens to kind of damage them a little bit, then can we say Tory's the greatest rapper of all time? Okay. You know what I'm talking about? Nah, nah. I ain't finna go that far, y'all, because we all, we all know what would happen if Cole or Kendrick or Eminem decided to respond to Lil Homie. Everybody know it'd be over with. It wouldn't even be no competition to it. And I guess that's what he's trying to do. He's trying to get recognized. He's trying to, to rise, you know. He's trying to get big out here or bigger than what he is, you know. <clears throat> Stuff like that. If I was him, I'd be going at cats like Chris Brown and Trey Song. I'd be going at cats like that so I can take them out. Because I'm a, if I'm a singing type cat, I'm not only going at rappers. I'm going at you singers, too. Hell, if I was him, I would just... Go ahead and take out the little dude Jaquiz. I'd be like, man, listen, dude, you copy everybody's shit. You know what I'm saying? People say I do it, but you really do it. <laughs> so, yeah, you know what I'm saying? If I was him, that's what I do. But you know what I'm saying? That's just me. <laughs> but all in all, the, the, this beef is interesting. Let's see where this Nicki Minaj and Meek Mills and Drake shit go. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna go that far. Drake probably gonna come out with a statement like, Nicki, calm down. You'll be all right. Me probably going to be like, girl, I'm not worried about you or what you're talking about. You know what I mean? But let, let's see. Also, the game in Joe Biden, you know, 
Joe said already on his podcast. Shout out to Joe Button and Joe Button podcast. I'll be watching it. You know what I'm talking about? I'm subscribed to your channel. But um he said on the podcast, he let loose with a couple of clips on the podcast. Y'all go check that out. I think it's called um All Something. Um it's like two seventeen. Two seventeen is the episode. So y'all go check that out on his channel and you will see everything that <clears throat> Excuse me, you see everything that he was talking about. Um, but, yeah, that, I think that can get interesting, too. You know what I'm saying? Because there's a lot of details and stuff that's under wraps that people know about that, hey, I'm not a gossip hound, but if you got something that something like that, I want to hear about it <laughs> just because. But, yeah, y'all, with all that being said, thank y'all for listening to the Gamecast, man. Thank y'all for being part of Nerd Gang Nation, thank y'all for being part of the channel, man. Until next time, man. This has been Gamecast. This has been Top Dot. We out.